Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to tie with some new materials that I found. Everywhere I go, I'm always looking for something that I can use in fly tying. And whether it's a better product, a cheaper product, uh, a, a cool out there product, whatever it is. And this last week, I found the ultimate product. So, while out gallivanting around, I found ramen noodles. Yes, ramen noodles for fly tying. Okay, maybe not them ramen noodles, but I found these ramen noodles, and they're absolutely awesome. These ramen noodles come in these big, and I mean, look how stretchy this stuff is. I, I mean, it's, it's going to be as durable as anything. You want to make squirmy worms, you want to make some rubber sand wands, you want to tie it into jigs. In this one package for $5, I got pink, I got yellow, I got green, I got orange, and I got blue. All of these colors in mass amounts. I, I'll count them real quick. We've got each strand has a piece that is about five inches long. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So each piece has 30 on each side. So for five dollars, you get 60 pink, 60 yellow, 60 green, 60 orange, and 60 blue five inch pieces. A squirmy rubber plastic it's unbelievable look at this i mean it is the stretchiest stuff i've ever seen so i wanted to share that with you guys and then i come up with a little jig i'm sure people have used it with other materials and stuff but so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make you guys a fly i'm gonna make a little jig and it is going to be a 164th ounce jig head Cutting that in the glass. I'm gonna lower the camera down. Get it up close for you guys. It is a 164th jig on a size 8 hook. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to just tie on my thread. I'm gonna change colors up. I'm gonna do this in a different color as I'm looking at my bench. I am going to do this in a green. So here is some chartreuse thread. It is just a six six out denier thread i'm going to tie this thread and get a pretty good wrap going once i get that wrap going i'm going to take a piece of my newfound love i'm going to cut me a little bitty leg i cut that a little bit longer than i wanted So I got me a piece here, a little over an inch, inch and a quarter, something like that. And I'm going to tie this in on my hook, keeping it tied up. And I'm going to tie that plastic down, or rubber, whatever it is. Once I get that tied down, I want that thing kind of pointing and dangling out there. I did this in, as I was... I went out in my pond to try one, and as I was casting it, that thing just kind of almost helicopters around, and it's pretty awesome. So all I have is that little leg, and I'm going to take me a little piece of cactus Chanel, and this is a green medium cactus Chanel. And I'm going to tie that in. I'm going to bring my thread forward and I'm going to make a Chanel body out of this cactus Chanel and once I have that tied in I'm going to overwrap my thread Get rid of the Chanel. <laughs> Fingers will work today. Whip finish that in. Once I have that whip finished in, take me a little bit of fingernail polish and dab that on that thread and there you guys have a very simple very fast very cheap 
what I'm going to call the ramen noodle poodle. And that is an awesome little jig. Uh, it goes down to the bottom and you can see just how that thing just whips around. And in the water, it'll do that same thing. This stuff has some crazy action. And I made some of these just simple, just to play. And I went out my pond and I mean, I annihilated them. I've got some trout stock now that the weather's cooled down and uh, this thing works. I will actually go out there. It's windy as can be today, but I'll make a video in the next couple of days when the wind calms down and show you guys these things in action. Unbelievable little fly, super cheap. And I'm telling you guys, you need to find you some of this. I found it online. The Cracker Barrel gift stores have it. Um, this stuff is amazing and cheap. You guys can get a lot of material for very little money compared to any other method. So hope this helps and I hope you guys enjoy my ramen noodle poodle.